Hello and welcome to our new team of the week on the promotion site. I'm Eddie. It's been a quite long since I have posted anything, uh, any tips. So this one is a very quick one about baking and unwrapping and map channels. So it's more for beginners or maybe some intermediate as well. But I hope you will enjoy it and it will be some kind of useful for you. So what I have here is a 3D model of a building with lots of materials on it. Actually, it's a model from our Arch Models uh, cities. Uh, so it's one of the of the buildings from, from the city. And as you can see, it's, it has a lots of Vray materials. So lots of objects here with different UV mapping. Okay, let me see the UV mapping. So what you see here is a complete mess, but it looks okay. But imagine I you want this model to be in a game, or you want to add some material, add some extra painting on the model. So you want to have everything, every every material, every texture on and one texture only, and the UV uh, UV mapping are not overlapping. So because you want to bake some ambient occlusion or or add some some extra details to get rid of such bugs as, as here. So to make it happen, uh, we will take advantage of the map channels in the U, uh, in the Unwrap modifier. So it's something completely different than the IDs, because the IDs are, are for materials, different materials so for different maps, etc. And what we want here is a one map for all the objects in, on the objects in the model. So. Let's get started. So first thing we need to do is uh, unwrap again the entire model, but not on this channel because we don't want to lose the texture data that we have here. So just go to the map channel here and go to the second channel, click abandon. So if you don't have anything on the second channel, it will it will show you the basic flat mapping from top or for side. If you have something, it will be here all the time, even if you collapse the unwrap modifier. Okay, select everything. Okay. Click mapping, flatten mapping. The best result you will probably uh, achieve when you do some uh, uh, hand unwrapping here. But because of the, uh, the sake of this presentation, I will speed up things a little bit and use the automatic unwrapping system. Uh, keep notes of the spacing because like in, in this building I will have a lot of small small objects, small UV islands. So don't make it uh, too low. I will later show you why. Also don't, don't make it too big. So you just need to play around with this, those options and see what's best for you. I will bag a 4K texture for from this one, so I think those kinds of those kind of uh, spacing is okay for me. Okay, click OK. You will see I have some unused uh, unused uh, space here. So probably if I if I done it the the wrapping by hand, I can get rid of such empty spaces. But for me, it's okay for now. Let's leave it like it is, okay? You can close the WIS window. And next thing we have to do is to bake from a first channel, the maps from first channel to the second channel. I don't need any GI calculation for this. I don't need any extra settings. Uh, I also recommend to turn off your gamma uh, if you have a, a set it for 2.2. And next thing is to bake those textures. So go to rendering, render to texture, or just hit zero on the keyboard, and you will see this kind of window. So let's take a quick look on some settings and the padding. Make it at least okay, 15 or maybe 10. Uh, the padding is the uh, extrapolating color 
that will be visible outside your UV uh, UV island. It's very useful because we have lots of small small maps, and in case of rendering engines, uh, real time rendering engines, when it comes to mid mapping, you can see. If the padding is too small, you can see some black lines on, on your model, some seams actually. So do also do not make it too big because if the, the islands are too, too close to each other, it will doesn't matter if you make it even 50 because UV islands will be too, too close to each other. Okay, uh, you will see everything when it starts baking, I will explain you will see the. I will explain how the the paddings uh, works, uh, what why the the spacing is so so important. So we we'll see everything in a second when I start to bake the, the maps. Okay. So next thing is the channel because we need to bake it on the second channel. We want to bake from first one to second one. So I need to choose the second one. Now I need to add a diffuse map uh, because I'm using the V-Ray. The original materials are V-Ray, so I will I have to use the V-Ray uh, diffuse map, diffuse filter. If you are baking from scanline, you will use probably the diffuse map. Okay. Add element. Uh, I'll choose the the resolution. I want a big one because I have lots of lots of uh, things here okay 4k by 4k now choose the destination okay i have example here already moving map color map okay we don't need the color mapping and just hit render okay continue I already see the last map I have back it already here because I have done some tests. So we already see the progress. This area here is the padding actually. So this, this what you can see here are 10 pixels padding. Uh, like you see, here is a UV island and here as well. The spacing between them is smaller than actually the, the 20 pixels because you will see here this is 10 pixel and this is well 10 pixels so the spacing between the the models is okay for this resolution but if you if you lower the resolution of this map to for example 1k the spacing between those maps could be too small and you you can see some seams uh, on the edges okay now all we need to do is wait for the map to uh, to be baked. Okay, so the texture is baked and I will put a standard material on the object and put my map here. And this one, okay. And this one. And channel 2 because it's baked from channel 2 UV mapping. Okay. It looks like it's lower S, but it's looking like in this only in the viewport settings because I'm using the natures. So if you want to uh, see how it really looks, you have to put it as a realistic material. And here we go. So there is our map. So one map, uh, one color on uh, on the UV map. So one map for every objects in the ob every small objects in the building. So right now I can bake my uh, ambient occlusion because I don't have any UV mapping islands over overlapping. Uh, I can uh, add some extra painting on some some details here in the Mario or, or other uh, texturing software. And I can, of course, uh, change this uh, mapping from two to one because I don't need the information on the channel one. So I can just move this mapping, my new one, 
to the map channel one. Okay, just click here on the first one and this time just click on the move. So it will move from two to one. Okay, I can collapse it already. And in my material, just change the map channel back to one. So, and voila, I have my model with uh, one texture on it and with no overlapping UV, UVs at all. So, this is it. I hope it was a bit useful for you. And if you have any questions, just email me at eddy at evermotionrg. And see you next time. Bye bye.